well, well. On Friday, Matt Reeves, there were many people who tweeted this out, but Matt Reeves is the first one who did it that I noticed. Matt Reeves, whom you know is directing the Robert Pattinson Batman movie, tweeted out a DC fandom promo video with a list of all, um, at least so far, all of the announced celebrity guests, you know, both actors and behind the scenes people, directors, writers, etc., etc. And one of the people listed was none other than Ezra Miller himself, The Flash, in the movies anyway. And I was happy to see that because, you know, Ezra Miller's status as The Flash has been in jeopardy, at least according to rumor, ever since the choking video was released. There were a lot of places saying he had been fired or was close to being fired. There were a lot of people online saying they wanted him to be fired. And it was justified. I mean, it was a bad video. It didn't make him look good. I mean, I don't think these people were off base for being unhappy with his behavior, but the video itself looked kind of staged and fake. Like he choke slammed this girl to the ground, but it was like so gentle and she was laughing well before it happened. Like if somebody was really choke slamming somebody, they would be doing it like a lot quicker and with more like intensity than he did it. And the person he's choke slamming that girl, she wouldn't be all like smiling and like this. I mean, I think they would be like, you know, <laughs> So that made, the whole thing to me just looked very wonky. Something was off. So I'm not sure it exact, it's exactly what a lot of people thought it was. Still doesn't look good though. I mean, I think Ezra Miller needs to watch his behavior when he's out in public now after this. Um, I hope this is a wake up call to him, but I am still happy that he gets to play the Flash. I think Ezra Miller's Flash is all right. I like him as the Flash. Um, I don't think he's gotten a chance yet to really do much with the role. He hasn't had his own movie yet. He's just been appearing in other people's movies. The one thing that I agree with people on who don't like his portrayal is he his he does run funny, right? There was that end of Justice League where it was like he was running and it looked like a duck waddle or something. Um, like his legs were like turned outward when they should have been straight when he was running. That did It was like at the end of Justice League. And that didn't make any sense. Um, Ezra Miller needs to start practicing his run now. Um, because we can't have a Flash who runs funny. But um, other than that, I think it's good that he's still the Flash. I mean, he originated the role. He should continue. It would be weird if they had to recast the Flash in the middle with a different guy. It could still work. But I think it'd be better if, you know, when you can, you were able to keep the original person you had cast in the first place. Um, and I think Ezra Miller's a good actor. Um, I just don't think he, he's had time yet to really show us what he can do in this role because he hasn't been given a chance to. Um, so I hope that in his own Flash movie, he will finally get to like, you know, own the role of the Flash and really flex those acting muscles. I've seen Ezra Miller and other things. I think he is a good actor. Um, so he just needs a chance and he needs to work on his run. I hope that's, I mean, that's the one thing I think that really needs to be fixed. You got to run right, Ezra. But anyways, he's still the Flash, and I approve. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like it on YouTube and subscribe to the channel because I appreciate your viewership, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.